All right, well, here's a little trivia question. Have you ever wondered what exactly the law is for front license plates in California? This is something we should all know. We should. And we're about to know more about it, because joining us in studio, Sergeant Brian Pennings from the CHP, to talk about that, as you always inform us and, and help us understand all these things uh, going on with our vehicles and on the road. Uh, let's talk about what exactly the law is when it comes to front license plates here in California, and also how it compares to other states. Well, uh, 5200 of the California Vehicle Code requires that if your vehicle is issued two license plates at the time of registration, uh, it shall have both a front and a rear license plate. The front license plate shall be attached to the frontmost portion of the vehicle in a secure manner. How do we know if it's issued two at the time? <laughs> because it, there's only certain vehicles that aren't issued two. So motorcycles, okay. trailers, uh, uh, special construction vehicles, uh, special equipment vehicles, those will only be issued one. If it is a uh, passenger vehicle or a pickup truck in those types of situations, they're only, they're issued two are, at the time. Are of there the situations issue. when you buy a used car, especially you buy it from, from somebody else, uh -huh. there's only one on there, Correct. or you buy, you buy it new and you, uh, somehow you so, don't end up with two, how, how, what happens in those situations? So, so first of all, with a used vehicle, if you purchase a used vehicle that only has one license plate, uh, it's incumbent on you to contact the DMV DMV and, and let the DMV know that. They have to report that front license plate that's missing, mm. missing or stolen. It's important you do so because somebody could be using uh, that other license plate inappropriately or on another vehicle that it ought not be on. Uh, in the instance where you have a new vehicle that doesn't have a front license plate, um, there is no such thing as a new vehicle in the state of California. In the state of California, it is, it, in order for them to legally sell the vehicle in California, mm -hmm. it shall have two license plates. What you more than likely have is a situation where a dealer has opted not to drill holes in the front of the vehicle mm -hmm. to mount the license plate bracket. Well, here in California, you know, a lot of people are very concerned with their image. They may not like the look of that front license plate. Uh, so what is the exact purpose, the reason why, regardless of how you like or dislike how it looks, why it's needed? I, I completely understand. Uh, the, so the purpose is, is for identification purposes, um, if your vehicle's stolen and there's a license plate reader or whatnot, you want that license plate to be on there so we can identify and go, go get your vehicle or apprehend the person who took your vehicle. Uh, the other thing is, and people don't realize, it is actually is a significant safety feature, and that is it's reflective. It doesn't require any lights or anything, and at nighttime it could it could it could um, it, it, it could um, attract light to your vehicle and, mm -hmm. and identify your vehicle. And I'll give you for instance, uh, several years ago I was working graveyard out east in our mountains. We got a, a vehicle over the side. It was somebody passed her by. They didn't know where they were, and it was up to us to go find them. We were able to go over to uh, go along the side of the freeway with our spotlight and. The one thing that shined back to us was the front license plate in the front of the vehicle that was over the side. We were able to go save the people that went over the edge. So it was the front license plate that reflected the back because all the lights been knocked out. Um, so it, it is a safety feature. Um, I understand people's image. I understand their opinions on it, but the law says we have to have it. All right, so let's talk about the different types of license plates given that point. Um, paper license plates, let's say you just uh, bought a car and you have temporary, or uh, the new digital ones that Correct. are being offered. How do, how do they factor into that So point? in the old days, remember the, the white piece of paper we used to put in our windshield, yeah. we used to have the dealer plates. Much to the chagrin of the dealerships, those no longer exist, so they don't get the free advertising. Um, it is not legal to have those paper license plates at all. The only paper license plates that are legal are the ones that are issued at the time you purchase your vehicle as temporarily to identify uh, your vehicle. Uh, and the DMV is actually very, very quick. It's, it happens within a week or two. They'll, they'll send you your new license plates. The digital license plates is a new program that you can uh, contact DMV and see if, if you're interested in participating in that, see if you can get one of those for your, um, it's, a, it's a test period that we're doing. But right it's now. not reflective in the same way as the as the You know, Andrew, ones? I'm not sure exactly yeah. how that works. I know, I think it lights up. Okay. I think it eliminates lights. Probably aren't as reflective. No, the paper ones are yeah. not reflective at all. Yeah. All right, and I'm not sure if you covered this, Sergeant Pennings, just yet, but how does California um, stack up against other states? It sounds like a very proactive law, perhaps there's, not the same in other states. But. Believe it or not, there's 30 states in our country that require front license plates. Uh, there are 20, obviously, that, that do not. Um, if you are in a situation where, let's say you're a military and you have your uh, vehicle registered in a state like Tennessee, Tennessee doesn't require a front license plate. In fact, Tennessee doesn't even issue they only issue one license plate, regardless of your vehicle. Mm. Um, and you're in California, there's an exemption for, for the front license plate. Obviously, they're not required to have a front license plate because their vehicle only came with one from the original state. And because they're active duty military, they're not required to have their vehicle registered in California. When I was in Florida, I remember the license plate went with you, the owner. So if you sold the car, you take the license plate with you. 
it's incumbent upon the new owner to get their own. So that's another different state. What, what about when um, people have things on their license plate, be it something that cover. maybe covers it yes. or makes so it fi darker? 5201 right? of the California yeah. Vehicle Code prohibits you to put any form of covering over your vehicle, whether, even if it's clear. Um, obviously, tinted will change yeah. the reflectiveness, but uh, you can't put any cover at all over, Does over the Does that include like a license plate frame? Yes, if the license plate frame covers the month or date, it is illegal, or even mm. the name of the state. If it obscures it, it uh, the license plate frame could be illegal. But one thing that, um, that we see um, sometimes is people will use uh, a spray or a coating that they put over the license plate to, to make their license plate non-reflective for mm -hmm. identification purposes. That also is illegal. Okay. Uh, you you uh, shall not put any coating on that license plate. And, and you need to understand that license plate doesn't belong to you. It's yeah. assigned to your vehicle. It's property of the state. It's it's uh, the state of California owns that Real license plate. Real quick, uh, the black and the the gold yes. uh, license plates here in California. Those are they reflective? So if you you can you can, no, you can <laughs> order a black and gold license plate right. from if you have a classic car or whatnot. Right. You can order one from DMV. They allow you to do that now. But if your license plate did not originally come in that color, you can't change it yourself. You need to order a new one from DMV, and they allow you if you have a classic car to get the old retro style license plates. Okay. All right, Sergeant Penning, there's lots to unpack there yes. for people to remember at home. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. It's